this one, uh, this one was really exciting for me because I, I, I am quite familiar with certain parts of the literature connected to what you do, and you do some really interesting, really interesting work that that I've followed in the recent past. Do you want to start off for everyone by just? T- talking a little bit about who you are and what your lab studies generally? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, actually, I was sort of thinking about this. Actually, I uh, did my undergraduate at Princeton in biochemistry a long time ago, and then I got my PhD at Yale in molecular biophysics and biochemistry uh, in 1988, and then I did a postdoctoral stint at Rockefeller University, and then I started my own lab here at UC Riverside in 1992. And you can see behind me is a photo of what I see from my office window. Where is Riverside again? Where is it geographically? Oh yeah. Good question. (laughs) It's halfway between Los Angeles and Palm Springs. So California uh, is the heart of the citrus industry. We have a national historic landmark downtown. So very well known for the citrus industry. And then uh, growing as people get, as things get too expensive in LA, they People are beginning to migrate back out here. Mm, I see. Well, we're going to get into some really interesting stuff in this episode. We're going to probably go pretty deep into some hardcore science. So we'll do our best to bring people along. But I want to start out high level. I'm going to read actually the the first sentence of a, a recent paper of yours. And I want to talk a little bit about soybean oil and linoleic acid to okay. anchor people Uh, so that they have uh, something to hold on to as we get into the nitty gritty here. But you wrote in a recent paper that we'll go over that linoleic acid, so this is basically the the fatty acid found in seed oils and processed foods. Linoleic acid is an essential fatty acid that must be obtained from the diet. However, there is a debate about the optimal amount of dietary linoleic acid, right? And that's true. So a lot of people will argue about how much is too much, how much is you know, enough, et cetera, et cetera. So continuing, ranging from the minimum required, which is about one to 2% of our calories or kilocalories. Um, That's what you need because these are essential fatty acids and and you have to get them from diet. 